Hi everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewer's question is, is there an age limit to becoming a Mason? Based on the way your question is worded, I think you mean uh, literally a limit. Is there any way that you could be too old to be a Freemason? Uh, if it is not, then I'll direct you over to the I bar here where there was another question about uh, how old you have to be to become a Mason, so what the lower limit would be. Uh, now, thinking about how old you can be to be a Mason, no. Uh, here in the state of Mississippi, at the least, there is no numerical value placed on how old uh, you, uh, th there's no cutoff on age limit. However, uh, it's important for you to understand that you do still need to be of good sound mind and body. You need to be able to uh, move around and it is fine if uh, that is by a wheelchair. We have many brethren who have joined Freemasonry who are bound to, the, to a wheelchair or at least even if they're not upwardly mobile they use a wheelchair because uh, it allows them to be out and about for long periods of time. Um, they can, in other words they could walk but not very far n maybe not up a flight of stairs or things like that. Um, so they use a wheelchair to increase their mobility. Uh, but it would be extremely important for you to be of sound mind. Uh, you'd have to be able to communicate clearly. Uh, you would have to be able to still retain information and be able to recite information back. Uh, or otherwise, Freemasonry is just not going to be something that you'd find a lot of pleasure in. Uh, in order to become an entered apprentice, you don't have to learn anything uh, right up front. You just have to be accepted by the lodge, and if you're accepted, then you are initiated and you receive your entered apprentice degree. But in order to move forward in Freemasonry past that, you would have to be able to learn new information and be able to recite that information back. Now, if I am not too mistaken, I heard here in the last few years of a 93-year-old man who petitioned a lodge, became a Freemason, and within a year had obtained his Master Mason's degree. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times, uh, younger folks, even, even Freemasons who take the time to think about things, might let it slip into their mind that somebody, that, that by the time we're 93, we expect, in a way, to be, uh, you know, a little bit um, unable to learn something new or to be able to communicate clearly like I was saying before. But boy, let me tell you, uh, there are still clearly quite a few men uh, or ladies out there looking to join uh, the women's organizations uh, who are quite capable of running circles around every young man who might have those wayward thoughts. <laughs> so if you're interested uh, and happen to be a little advanced in age, uh, then I would say don't let that be a discouragement. Uh, still fill out that petition and see about joining the Lodge. Uh, there certainly is no uh, late time to start. There's no benefit in starting when you're 18 or 21 versus starting when you're 70, 80, or 90. Uh, so go ahead and, uh, and petition the Lodge at whatever time that it happens to suit you or that you gain that interest. Uh, I have heard uh, a few uh, more elderly men who had uh, obtained their Entered Apprentice degree who went a few decades before trying to get their fellow craft degree uh, tell young Masons uh, to make sure that they did their uh, proficiency lessons now because the older they got the harder it was for them to try to learn that information retain it and recite it back now I am sure that that is different for everyone uh, but perhaps starting early doesn't hurt <laughs> if you have any other questions uh, or if there's anything about this I can try to clarify for you please leave a comment down below and thank all of you for taking the time to watch we'll see you next time Bye.